Hi guys, I just wanted to do a little introduction to the universal car rental simulation that you guys are doing and show you how you get started. Um, and in order to do so, let me, uh, let me show you how you open up and get started with the simulation. So what you need to do is to uh, go to uh, the Harvard portal, which you bought for this class. And you find if you have different course packs, you need to find the right one. Here you can see the one we're in. And uh, it's in MGMT156 pricing strategy. Uh, and the one we're looking for is the pricing simulation universal rental car version number two. So that's the one we're looking for. Now, once you start it up, let me just start it up as it'll look on your computer. It looks like this. Here you have an introduction to what the case is all about. Um, there are a couple of uh, instructional videos that you have, have access to right now. It is loading, as you can see here. And the uh, introduction will show you also how you go through the simulation. In essence, you are the manager of um, a, uh, a car rental company um, called Universal, and you have locations at different places. You can see here you have Tampa, Orlando, Miami uh, on the right side, and then you will have to decide how you price your uh, car rentals uh, month by month. And you can do that for each of the different locations. And you have a, uh, an opportunity to, to differentiate the prices between uh, weekdays and uh, weekends. And then you can see the fleet size that you have uh, available at the different locations. So what you do is then you analyze the needs and the markets and stuff uh, based on the menu bar here on top. So here you can see overall of where you are today. This is your current market shares. This is the unit sales the capacity utilization, so how much of your inventory you're using at the different locations, uh, the fleet size, and so forth. Uh, you can analyze a number of different things before you make your decisions about the pricing. So you can look at, for instance, the pricing history. So what you have priced before, uh, you have different things to look at. I tend to look at both the graph to get an overview, but also the actual data in order to see where it is. Um, now you can see down here, there's a little thing called a copy to, to a clipboard. So if you want to use this to manipulate in Excel, you basically click on this one, then it copies to the clipboard. And then you can open up Excel in a separate uh, uh, area and take a look at what that looks like. And let me switch over so you can see what it looks like once you open it up. So this file that I just opened up looked like this. So you can see different types of data um, from the uh, analysis. All right, so let's move back to the main screen. Here we go. Uh, you can also take a look at the market demand. Um, again, you can see here the demand developing over time at the different locations. Uh, you can see your market share versus the main competitor of how well you're doing. Uh, you can look at your unit sales, how much you sell um, for the different locations and your pricing history. You can look at the fleet sites and its development uh, in terms of how your inventory develop, uh, capacity utilization. You can look at market research. This is uh, pretty interesting because it gives us an idea about, or you an idea about the market. Uh, again, the market sizes, the market shares. You can look at the data side. You can again uh, download this uh, set if you want. Um, and as the more data comes in, uh, it might not show all of it on the screen, but if you then use the copy to clipboard, you can see all the data. You can also see your competitors, uh, their uh, income statement. So you can follow how they are doing in terms of profitability. What you need to optimize is the uh, pre-tax profits uh, for your company. Where you actually see your results will be at the net income tab. Here you can see accumulated pre-tax profit. That's the thing you need to optimize uh, for your company. Now, when you start, you have the first three months shown here. So you can see the development of your revenue over time, uh, but you can also see that the accumulated pre-tax profit has not started yet because you start in month four and that's when you start generating your uh, profitability. Last but not least, you have a break-even calculator uh, that you can use to help you calculate <clears throat> break-even points for different types of pricings. 
Um, at the end of the day, in terms of making decisions, what you need to take a decision about is what you see on the right side of every single screen. Here you can see that you can go in, click on the fields and change the prices. Um, and once you have made your strategy, let's say I'm only changing these two, let's, let me change this one to 40. Uh, I then say advance to next month. And as soon as I click, I get the extra results for what happened to my sales, what happened to my profitability and income statement. So, so let's take a look at the income statement here. Here I have zero, I submit my, um, my decisions. And all of a sudden I can see this one added a month to it. And now, oh, I actually lost money with my decisions in terms of price setting. And that has some kind of uh, reason. So there's a price sensitivity that you can analyze. There's a demand you can analyze and try to figure out why this strategy didn't work or what strategy would work better. And your job is then to, uh, to optimize uh, after all the periods here that you have available, your accumulated pre-tax profitability. So there you have it. That's how you get started with the simulation. Once you have gone through all the different rounds, so now I just click forward with the same prices to the end. I will show you what happens at the end of the simulation. So I add month by month by month, uh, not doing very well. You can see it's getting more and more negative. And at the end of uh, the different simulation rounds that I have available, I get my final results. And here you can see that I managed to uh, go 9.9 .9 million in the hole, which is not very good. This is the number you want to optimize. Uh, and you have you know, six tries to do it and only your best um, cumulative profit results uh, matters. So there you have it. That is simply put how you enter and play the uh, simulation.